Welcome back citizens to another video on my channel. Today we're diving into a specialized PvP loadout for the Drake Cutlass Blue in Star Citizen's 3.2 4.3 patch. If you're looking to become the galaxy's stealthy enforcer, you've come to the right place. As many of you know, the Cutlass Blue is equipped with a quantum dampening device. This system prevents any vessel, big or small, from engaging its quantum drive and escaping. Whether you're a bounty hunter keeping your mark locked down or a pirate ensuring that a freighter can't slip away, the QD puts you in control of the engagement. The QD has a dampening range of 4 kilometers, so if you can close in undetected, your target won't be able to simply jump to safety. However, there's a trade-off. With our stealth setup, you'll be more vulnerable. The blue isn't as heavily armored or shielded as some tougher ships and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with agile fighters like the Aegis Sabre or powerhouses like the F-8 Lightning can be risky, that's why I recommend bringing along a wingman, especially when facing agile or heavily armed opponents. The big advantage here is stealth. By powering down your shields and weapons, you can remain undetected on enemy scanners until you're within that crucial 4km range, close enough to activate your QD and catch them off guard. Once they realize they can't jump, it's already too late. Let's talk about our energy distribution first, as managing power is crucial for this build. We need to reserve enough for the QD while maintaining essential systems. Weapons, 3 out of 6 units. Engines, 4 out of 6 units. Shields, 3 out of 3 units. Radar, 3 out of 3 units. Life support, 0 units. Cooling, 2 out of 2 units. QD reserve, 3 units for the quantum dampener. We'll examine two configurations, a full Panther setup for raw damage and a mix setup with the distortion repeaters for incapacitation. Full Panther setup. 4 CF3, 3 7 Panthers. Each Panther outputs 198 sustained DPS and 44 alpha damage. With 4 Panthers firing, you get 792 sustained DPS and 176 alpha damage in total. This is enough firepower to quickly pressure your target before they can react. Incapacitation is set up, 2 CEF-337 Panthers, plus 2 DR-XJ-3 Distortion Repeaters. Each Panther outputs 188 sustained DPS and 44 alpha damage, while each Distortion Repeater outputs 183 sustained DPS and 58 alpha damage. With 2 Panthers and 2 Distortions firing, you get 742 sustained DPS and 204 alpha damage. Although this loadout offers lower sustained DPS than the full Panther setup, the distortion repeaters greatly increase your ability to disrupt and immobilize enemy systems. Ideal for bounty hunters or pirates looking to disable ships rather than outright destroy them. In the manned turret, we are adding two CF-337 Panther repeaters to give your co-pilot additional firepower, turning your surprise attack into a devastating ambush. Missiles Equipped 4 MSD, 4 8 1 missile launchers, each carrying 8 Task Force 1 EM size 1 missiles. That's a total of 32 missiles at your disposal. These EM missiles are currently metered due to their excellent tracking and ability to home in on signatures. By opting for 8 size 1 missiles per launcher instead of 4 size 2 missiles, you increase the chances of damaging or disabling enemy modules. Altogether, these 32 EM missiles deal a combined 52,921 damage. Shield. We're running a Hull 2 competition Grade B shield, offering 6,170 health points and a regeneration rate of 251 health points per second. Power Plant. The Eclipse Stealth Grade A. That power plant provides 8 in power, keeping our signature low while ensuring there's enough energy for shields and weapons once we switch them back on. Cooler. The Nightfall Stealth Grade A cooler helps manage temperatures and the emissions, aiding in remaining undetected until we choose to engage. Leave the other cooler slot empty. Quantum Drive The Spicula Stealth Grade A quantum drive ensures rapid, discrete travel, moving to position swiftly without lighting up every scanner in the system. There you have it folks, your comprehensive guide to a stealth-focused PvP meta loadout for the Drake Cutlass Blue in 3.2 4.3. With this setup you're not a heavy brawler but the invisible predator lurking in the darkness, ready to strike before the enemy even knows you're there. Always remember, surprise is your greatest weapon. Approach quietly, get close to within 4 kilometers, then activate your QD and watch your target panic as they realize they can't escape. If the situation turns, that's when a reliable wingman can really save the day. If you found this guide helpful, a like would mean a lot. It shows I'm on the right track. 
Share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of this loadout? What would you change and what ideas do you have? Let's get a conversation going. And if you don't want to miss out on more tips, tricks and tactics, hit that subscribe button so you'll always stay one step ahead in the verse. Or better yet, fly stealthy, see you in the verse.